Hi everyone, welcome back to Angela's Pilates Standing Series Part 2. So this is a three-part series, so if you haven't done Part 1, I'd like you to start there. Today's focus is more upper body, but obviously we're using the whole body with more emphasis on the upper body. So I'd like to use weights for this workout. If you don't have weights, then please grab anything that you have in your house, maybe bottles of water or maybe you want to use uh, uh, cans. I'm going to be using the hand weights. So my hand weights are one kilogram. Obviously you can go a little bit heavier. I wouldn't suggest though you go more than two kilograms. We're standing, so it's quite a lot of a ch uh, quite a big challenge for you. Um, if you struggle with balance, then please make sure you're standing near a wall or hold on to something, a table, a chair. If you'd like to see more of my workouts, please hit the subscribe button below and um, hit the bell button to get notifications of any new workouts. Let's get started. So let's start off warming up. You're going to pop your feet underneath your hips. Knees are nice and soft. So make sure you're distributing that body weight evenly through the middle of the big toes, middle of the baby toe, and the middle of the heel. So you're creating a triangle effect through your feet, and I'd like you to soften your knees. Pilates breath. Let's take an inhale through the nose, lift your chest a little. Exhale out your mouth, nod your chin, and let's roll down bone by bone. So just allow the heaviness of those weights or whatever you're holding to bring your body down. So you start to feel the length in the back of your legs, your spine. Soften your jaw, relax your face. Let's take an inhale at the bottom. Draw that navel up and in as you exhale slowly, restack the vertebra. So you want to think of building blocks here and stack the vertebra bone by bone. Try not to leave any out and the last thing is your head. Let's go again. Breathing in, find that length. Exhale, nod your chin and slowly. Think of shaving your legs with your weights and take this opportunity to connect to your breath, connect to your abdominals and see if you can go a little further. Knees are soft, jaw is soft. Take an inhale at the bottom, initiate those abdominals and slowly rebuild bone by bone. Keeping those weights close to your legs. Last thing is your head and relax your shoulders, beautiful. So I'd like you to start off with your feet together. We're gonna to rock back slightly and you're gonna open your toes. So remember when you open your toes, we're coming into a little bit of external rotation through the hip joint, not your knees or your toes. It's coming from the hips. Let's activate the glutes and zip up your inner thigh. You're going to take your arms out to the side, shoulder height only, and then lower down. So exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Now, even though you're just feeling the arms, I want you to think about the whole body here. So think about your abdominals. We're working in the middle deltoids. And we want to find space between the lower ribs and the hip bones. Make sure your ribs are soft and closed. And remember, you don't want to go beyond your shoulder. Just stop in line with the shoulder. Five more here. And lower down. Brace those abdominals. You'll need them in a moment. You'll feel them more. Last one. Now let's see if we can connect those abdominals by lifting the heels. So as you lift the arms, your heels lift and then you lower down with control. So we want even on the way up and even on the way down. Feeling that inner thigh, feeling the glutes. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Make sure you're not leaning back. You want to come slightly forwards, but you're not tipping. Brace those abs. Five more here. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Four and lower. Three more. Zipping up that inner thigh. Last two. Lift that chest. You want to feel all ten toes on the floor. Last one. And lower down. So I'd like you to lift your heels now. Bend your knees. And I want you to hover your heels so you're not all the way up on your tiptoes. Heels are slightly lifting. Take your arms out to the front, out to the side, bend your elbows and your palms face the front. So it's like a goalpost position. Now try pushing your heels together, spread the toes onto the floor. We go in and we go out. So now I want you to think about your back muscles here. Think about squeezing your shoulder blades together as you take those arms back. 
your chest is lifted, your rib cage, make sure it's closed. And you want your knees tracking second and third toes. So we're still in that little bit of external rotation through the hip joint. Five more and open. Four and open. Three, you're on that imaginary shelf with your elbows. Two more. Last one. Now we're going to add the legs. We're going to straighten and bend. So straighten the legs as the arms come in, and then bend the knees as the arms go out. Land your heels if you're struggling with balance. All 10 toes on the floor. On that imaginary shelf, five more, pushing the heels together. Zip up that inner thigh. Three, chest is lifted. Two, last one, Hold it here, heels are hovering. Bring your elbows to the front, your palms face towards you. Try and get your elbows in line with your shoulders. We're gonna press down and up. It's pretty small, very intense. Chest is lifted, all 10 toes spread on the floor. Five little movements, like a pulse. Three, brace those abs. Last one, take your arms out, they're stopping just in front of the elbows, just in front of the chest, we pull down. Now don't think about your elbows here, think about your shoulder blades. Slide them down your spine. Beautiful, five more, five, four, three, two, last one. Let's go all the way up. Take your arms out to the side, heels are lifted, and then lower the arms and the heels with control. Beautiful. Bring your feet together now. I'd like you to sit your booty back like you might take a seat in your dining room chair. Soften and close those ribs, draw the navel up and in. And I'd like you to imagine you're holding a beach ball here. Elbows are soft. We lift up shoulder height and we lower down. Lift and lower. So back to those middle deltoids. Red deltoids are working as well. And we're targeting the upper and mid back muscles. Push your knees together. Make sure the chest stays lifted. Five more here. Four, three, close those ribs. Two, make sure the weight's on front of the shoulder. Now we're going to add the legs. We straighten and we sit the booty back. Like you're about to take a seat in your dining room chair. Inhale as you lift, exhale as you lower. Breathing in and breathing out. Five more, sit the butt back. Four, chest is lifted. Three, just shoulder height to those arms. Last one, now we're gonna add a pulse, both arms and legs. We go up, up, straighten, sit your booty back. So it's three, two, straighten, Sit your booty back. So it's a little pulse of the arms and the legs. Sit your butt back and lift. Try not to break that wrist joint. So remember you're tipping from your hips. Don't allow your chest to fall. You're just tipping slightly forwards. Back as long and lift. Two, straighten, sit your butt back. And four, two, straighten, back. Three, two, Zip up that inner thigh, last one, two, straighten, sit your booty back, straighten up, beautiful. I'd like you to, you can still face the camera, I'm just going to turn sideways so you have a better view. Pop your feet now underneath your hips. We're going to do a squat and as you squat you're going to turn your palms so they face down and take the weights in line with your shoulders. So just take a moment to set your squat here. You're tipping from your hips, not here. So keep the chest lifted. You want a long line with your spine. You don't want to feel your lower back. So slightly lower that tailbone. It's not a tuck. It's just a lowering of the tailbone. Feel the abs draw up and in. And your arms are just shoulder height. As you straighten the legs, you're going to take the arms straight behind you and lift your arms as high as you can. Let's pick up the tempo and squeeze the buttocks. Squat and up. 
Now make sure as you squeeze your buttocks, you're not doing this. So you don't want to thrust the hips forward. You want to come back to that neutral place. Hips in line with the shoulders. But you want to get your arms a little higher so you can start to feel your triceps. Four, squeeze the buttocks. Three, and lift. Now make sure you're bracing those abs. This time you're going to lift your heels. Squat. Full body integration here. Heart rate is increasing. Chest stays lifted. I want you to feel your tries. So get those arms a little higher at the back. It's five and lower. Four. If you're struggling with balance, don't lift the heels. Two. Last one. Stay in the squat. As you lift up, pick up your right leg. Both feet down in the squat, then it's the left. So we're doing a weight transference. But I hardly want to see it as you pick up that leg. Front deltoids, triceps. Can you go a little deeper now into that squat? Ooh, heart rate is increasing. Four more. And three. Watch your knees. Don't let them roll in. Last one. Hold it here. Take your arms behind you. Make sure you're not here. Lift your chest. Arms as high as you can go. Palms face up. Lower that tailbone slightly. Circle in and around. Seven. Six. Triceps. Breathe. Four. Three. Two. Reverse. And we go out and in. Let those arms a little higher. And it's four. Three. Two. One, and let's roll down. Allow the weights to pull your body down. Soften your knees, hang for a moment. Initiate your abs, breathe out, and slowly up we come. Bone by bone. Last thing is your head, and relax your shoulders. Beautiful. So I'd like you to take your feet wider than your hips. Open your toes, and go straight down the center. So here we want an upright chest, shoulders stacked above your ribs, ribs above your hips, and push your knees back, second and third toes. Close those ribs, navel up, and then we're making a circle with our arms. We come forward, stop in front of the shoulder, and we lower. Come deep into your legs, a little deeper if you can. Up, out, in. Three more, out, in. Two more, beautiful, last one. Now let's reverse it. We go side, front, lower. Can you go a little deeper in the legs? And side, front, lower, beautiful. Two more, side, front, lower, last one. Now if it's available, lift your heels. Lots of balance here, chest stays lifted. Watch those knees and we go a little deeper. We take the arms out to the front, then to the side and we turn the palms up. We tap the elbows, biceps, tap and extend. So my elbow stays in line with my chest, shoulders, palms face up, or 10 toes on the floor. Five more, go a little deeper, chest is lifted. Four, beautiful, breathe. Three, my legs are shaking. Two, last one, hold it here, lower your heels, go a little deeper, biceps, ten more, nine, eight, elbows stay in line with the chest, five more, a little deep in those legs, four, let's lift the heels, three, Woo. two, last one, hold it here, lower your heels, circle, 10 forwards within the framework of your body. Five, four, three, two, reverse. Other way. Come a little deeper. Chest is lifted. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift all the way up. Zipping up that inner thigh. Arms open and lower down. Beautiful. You stay facing me. A little bit of a balance challenge now. 
we're going to come into a lunge position. So I'd like you to take your left leg behind you, land your heel and open your toes, front toes slightly, so your knees on a slight diagonal. Then I want you to shift your body weight forward so you can easily lift your back leg. Make sure you're standing by a wall if you need support. And we're going to lower the weights. So I want your weights, your palms to face in. And you, this is your start and end position. All the weights on my front leg. So I sweep the arms back. And now bring them back to my start position. Let's go. Ten of these. And lower. Beautiful. So no weight on that back leg. Chest is lifted. Again, we're targeting the back of the bodies. Five more. Just have to let you know my counting's not that good, but I'm doing my best. Keep going. Now lift that back leg off. Keep the arms going. Lots more core now. I feel that work in my front quad. I'm trying not to let my front knee roll forward. Five more. Four. Three. Navel up and in. Two, lengthen that back leg. Now can you go a little deeper for the last five? Four, lift those arms higher. Three, two, last one, hold it up. Go a little deeper, lift up and hold for four. Three, two, one, lower down. Beautiful. Ready to do that on the other side. So I'm just turning around, you can stay where you are. Make sure you've changed your leg, the leg that's going back in your lunge, and we tip forwards. A little bit of external rotation with that front knee, and you want to make sure there's no weight on that back foot. You should be able to lift it. You start here, palms face in, we swing it back. Even though we're swinging the arms, it's a controlled lifting and lowering, and you might notice that one side is more dominant than the other. That's normal, you've got to work at the weak side of your body. Five more. Straight behind you. Four. Navel up and in. Three. Two. Last one. Keep your arms going. See now if you can lift your leg off and deepen that knee bend. Make sure your hips though are facing forwards. Make sure your chest is lifted. Five more. Four, long back leg. Three, two, now for the last five. Can you go a little deeper? Can you lift your back leg higher? Four, breathe. Three, two, last one. I want you to hold it, hold, breathe, breathe, and lower down. Beautiful, guys. Well done. Let's take the feet now wider than the hips. Open your toes, so we're coming into that external rotation. Come straight down the side, finishing off with a little bit of a waistline. Take the arms to the side, then take your hands behind your head. Your elbow should be wide, but make sure you don't open the ribs. Space between the lower ribs and the hips. We lean over to the right side. Slow, lift up, then to the other side. Now we're right at the end, so check that your, your legs should be warm. Check that you can go a little deeper. And even though we're crunching the one side of the body, we want to find that length. Elbows in your peripheral vision. A little deep in those legs. Up and over. Don't pull on your neck. Your fingers are just tapping. Four more. And lift. Three, and up, two more. Feel your waist. Now we're gonna add a little bit of a pulse to the right. Three, two, one, lift up, elbows wide, other side. Three, two, one, lift up. Three, a little deeper, and lift. Three, feel the waistline, and lift. Feeling my quads as well, stay low, and lift, pulse, two, three, and lift, four more, two, three, and lift, pulse, two, three, last two, pulse, two, three, and up, one more, two, three, and up, 
Take your arms up by your ears. Open them out a little deep in those legs and lower the arms and straighten the legs. Beautiful. Let's just finish off with a roll down. Pop your feet underneath your hips. Breathe in, lift your chest. Exhale, nod your chin. Like we started, we're shaving those legs. And you're rolling all the way down to the floor, but I'd like you to stay here. Just hang. I'd like you to bend your knees and straighten. Bend and straighten. As you straighten your legs, don't lock out your knees. Don't push back into the back of the knees. Lift your kneecaps up and into your thigh bone. Three more and fold over your legs. Two arms are relaxed. Last one. As you straighten your legs, keep the knees soft, bring the weights back up with you and roll up bone by bone. Breathe. Last thing is your head and relax your shoulders. Beautiful guys, well done. And as always, I'd love to hear your feedback and I'll see you on the mat for part three. Bye for now.